Hey, yo, what's up guys, A here. So today we're going into Oli. We're going into Oli a little bit earlier today. It's Saturday, <laughs> so it's a little nice. So I just had our coffee and I'm about to go ahead and put in my pre-workout. So the only pre-workout I usually take is the Gorilla Mode Nitrix. I not sponsored by Gorilla Mode or anything like that, but it is a great supplement. I really, really do enjoy it. There's no um, stimulants in it. So as you guys know, sometimes I go ahead and work out anywhere around three o'clock, five o'clock. So very late in the day and at that Time, I do not want to go ahead and take any caffeine by that point I've already had all the caffeine that I need and uh, and a little more of it so I really like taking it whether it is um, on Tuesday nights at Muay Thai practice which starts usually at 5 o'clock that's the perfect time to baby go ahead and take Gorilla Mode Nitrix um, no stimulants no nothing and then the second one is the Gorilla Mode um, L-Carnitine that one is very concentrated so I believe it's 100 700 milligrams per capsule so instead of taking like six seven capsules from a regular other supplement um, very low low dose uh, you just go ahead and take about three to four from the gorilla mode and it's a little bit more convenient I guess you could say but still L-carnitine is L-carnitine I'm not injecting L-carnitine which is the most bioavailable form but regardless of that that's what I'm taking in here and I usually put um, pomegranate extract. There's been some recent studies suggesting that pomegranate extract can enhance leg uh, power output by anywhere, I believe, from 3 to 5% when taken daily. I believe it's because of the bacteria that it, it promotes uh, growth on in your gut. So it helps out somehow. Uh, I've read the study a while ago. I keep on taking it. That's why it looks a little black comparison because the gorilla mode nitrix is white completely so yeah taking that we're about to go get in our session of oli and then right after um, we're gonna run we're gonna run only three miles and then we'll take it from there so you can probably see <laughs> the l carnitine pills floating in there you see that white little fish that's in there I forgot to take them out of a little powder um, container. I usually keep them in. Oh, let me see. Here. There you go. You can see it right there.
I am cooked. I'm about to go run uh, three miles right now. So they're gonna be again at that tank building pace. It's not gonna be anything crazy. It's not gonna be anything where I'm gonna kill myself. Right now it's getting that volume and getting that volume in, that way my body gets used to it. Cause if you go too fast, you will mess up something in your body. Uh, you could get a tendonitis of some kind, which I have had in the past. I've had several different tendonitis. So again, I think I've learned <laughs> from my past experiences, from my past mess ups. Uh, and so now it's time to think a little, be a little bit smarter and not mess up this time. So right now it's just a matter of volume, volume. But having said that, the Trotti workout today was, <laughs> was heavy. Uh, we started out with uh, clean pulls from the blocks. So from 50 to 60, uh, 65 I believe, then 70, and then um, cleans, just cleans from the blocks. Uh, again, started off with, uh, at the lowest percentage, 50, and then moved up, and then finished up with what was only, what I thought was only gonna be uh, front squats, but ended up being <laughs> uh, front, front squat plus, so red down all that but now we're um, and then we finished up with a couple of accessory stuff like uh, bridges and then some calf raises and that was it uh, and now again just doing the accessory work right now to go ahead and finish off the day thanks for joining me in another episode guys i'll see you in the next one Peace.